What's up, everybody? It's Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob. It's a Thursday night with the boys. We are reviewing this Springbank 20-year-old single cask. And then there's a little bit of Springbank mayhem behind me and in front of me. Um, unfortunately, you guys can only see a little bit of what's going on over here. It's probably for the best. Um, I'm going to review this 20-year-old really quick, and then we'll kind of talk about some of the other stuff we got. I got the usuals, Jasper and Paulo in front of me, and a new addition. My buddy Anthony is here as well. Um, so you guys tried this 20-year-old already, no? I you have. Yeah. And you? Yeah. So you're about <laughs> to, right? All right. So... The usual from Springbank with this 20 year old, I find that like cookie dough, but almost like a smoky cookie dough. A couple guys in the chat. Guys, I'm going to quickly review this and then we're going to chat with you guys. I just want to get through this 20 year old review real quick. So it's a single cask, refill sherry, bottled in 2016, 54.1%, uh, bottled in November of 2016, 204 bottles. Distilled in December 20, or 1995, 1995, so. <clears throat> now that we mentioned that pine note, I'm kind of getting that pine note on this one for some reason. Getting a bit of a pine note right now. Maybe it's just in my head. Thing sounds like it's working really hard. So I, we did find that this one was a little bit better with water, right? But the sweetness you definitely get on the nose without even adding it. I'm not getting a lot of peat, to be honest with you. What do you guys? There was more, I, I noticed with Springbank especially, when you first open the bottle, there's a little bit more peat, and then it kind of goes away after you get past the neck. It might be my memory. This jumped out of the glass more the last time. Right? Yeah. yeah. This time. It, it seems know. more muted this time. It does seem a bit more muted. Maybe it needs some water. And that just like goes to show that there's no formula for like, mm. A bottle opening up sometimes opening up is a bad thing for a bottle right the sweet spots in bottle, like really hard to yeah do. you can't predict it there's no predicting a sweet spot okay on the palette that's so good <laughs> i didn't add water and when i sip that i don't really want to <laughs> um for the sake of science yeah i'm gonna add a little bit but definitely like the creaminess i know i'm back, back to, to the I'm back to back to the wrong bertha <laughs> <laughs> upstairs he's not here he get you can get him i'm a pro at this thing now <laughs> what's up guys hope you're all doing well so definitely a creamy sweetness on the palate right off the hop Um, Keith from the Malted Man Cave always talks about like this cookie dough or cookie type flavor that he gets from Springbank, and I've really been getting that lately, especially on the, like the finish. It's like a vanilla cookie or something like that. Cookie dough, I don't know. Now you put it in your head, then yeah, it takes, yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> Obviously, uh, what is that suggestion or whatever? There we go. But, um, that's really good. What are you guys giving this one? You tried it before, right? So, you guys feel safe enough to give it a mark, no? It, it was better the first time I had it. Better the first time, yeah. first time that the nose jumped out of the glass, it, yeah, it hit you with all these spring bank, you know. Um, 
wet hay. Yeah. Uh, the, today it's not as not as. Yeah, the nose is definitely a little more muted for me. Still awesome on the palate. The palate is, yeah, it's great. So, based on, because, I mean, it's never fair to give a whiskey a mark based on one try, I don't think. Over the, the period of, like, four or five drams that I've had of this, I would say that there were some days where I was going to give this, like, a 92, mm -hmm. other days that I was going to give it, like, an 89. So, I'm somewhere in between there. I'm probably around, like, a 90, 91. The 91, probably. The finish is great. The I mean, finish is great. The palette's great. First day I had it was a 91 because it was just so good. Yeah. Today it's probably, yeah, drop down a point or a point and a half type of thing. Yeah. yeah. I think 90, 90. 91 is fair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really good stuff. If you're in the New York area, you could probably still pick this up. For whatever reason, Springbank sits on shelves in New York. Um, <laughs> that's where I got this. 54.1%. Like I said, it's refill. I'm really not showing up on the camera for whatever reason. But... I got to upgrade the camera, I think, this year. 2020 is the year to do it. Everyone, um, Super Chats, go to yeah, a new camera. Super Chats, go to a new camera. <laughs> um, imported by Pacific Edge Imports, uh, Agora Hills, California. So it seems like all the good stuff goes to Cali. <laughs> good weather. Good women. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that's a 90.91 for me, guys. Um, just gonna kind of give you a look at what we got back here. We got the brand new, or brand new for Canadians anyway, uh, ten-year-old local barley, which is the 2019. We got a very old Longro 18. Uh, this is Jasper's. We don't know when exactly this was bottled because it doesn't have the laser print. Oh, it does. It does. 2013. It's like inside the label, 2013. So 2013, this was bottled. Does that make sense? They didn't change the label by then? I guess not. Probably not. Um, I actually like that label. Then the relatively new Springbank rum, 15-year-old. I don't know if this is cash strength. It's 51% on the dot. I'm going to say yes, but I could be wrong. There is, what, 9,000 bottles of this? 9,000 bottles of this. Um, I think that that seems to be their number, right? 9,000. They kind of yeah. all their special edition stuff. This is a 2019 18 year old, which I'll be trying next. This is the 21 or the 20 that I just did. The new Kilcarran Alberta exclusive, right? I think that's an Alberta exclusive. It's a single mm -hmm. cast. I believe it was bottled for Alberta exclusively, but I could be wrong. It was supposed to be a phenol cask. So I was told it was going to be a phenol cask. It's a bourbon cask. It's still very good in my opinion. And then you guys have seen this one on my channel already, the 21-year-old long girl. I'm giving it a revisit tonight. So it's going to be a good night. Let's say hello to people in the chat. <clears throat> Richie Z, what's going on, buddy? Steve A's in the house. We got Atlantic Beers. What's up? Red Beards Racing. What's going on? Tamar, how are you, my friend? P-Boss is in the chat as well as right in front of me. One Lost Cause. What's going on, my friend? Um, Christopher David, how are you? Andrew, what's going on, my friend? And then BB Jap is the gentleman sitting to my right. And the Whiskey Friend is in the house. It's, uh, it's late for the Whiskey Friend. What time is it in Scotland right now? It's got to be pretty late. Five hours? Let's do the math, Jasper. You're the doctor. <laughs> um, uh, 2.06 a.m. There you go. So Peter funny. White, what's going on, my friend? I'm going to see you on Tuesday. Did a little uh, trade with a buddy of his, and he's muling it for us. So um, looking forward to that. Sweet. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm going to move on over What's here. Next? I'm going to do the um, Springbank 18-year-old because I've been looking forward to trying this. And I'm using my Springbank Society glass 
my hands are not massive. It's <laughs> it's a small glass. <laughs> you know what they say about you know, the king. <laughs> <laughs> if that's the case, I'm going to be walking around with this thing in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> so, the 2019, we said it already, right? It's 70% bourbon, 30% port, or is it less? 18 something, right? 18 year old? 18. 2018. Uh, 18 it's fast awesome, on that. It's uh, 88 bourbon, 12 port. 88% bourbon cask, 12% uh, port on the 2019 18-year-old. A lot of, lot of numbers say there. That, that. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's saying all hail Austin Matthews. Yeah, he's been ripping it lately. <clears throat> Richie Z is saying just poured some Hazelburn 13. We actually have one of those around here. <laughs> Jasper literally brought like a right. hundred bottles. It's like no. it's like one one millionth of his collection. But is that the one? This is the one, Richie. It's good stuff. Honestly, I, I love these hazel burns. The fourteen, Which I wish I could. you like the fourteen more. Than I that. like the fourteen a little bit more, but not by much. Um, they're both amazing, in my opinion. Don't try it again. Not <laughs> to ask me twice. Yeah. Yeah. He's got to yeah. figure out, is it real or is it just yeah. all yeah. Yeah. I think you have the 13, right? I think so. So I'm keeping this top six. Yeah, you, don't, you don't have the 14 over. Yeah. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> it's 21. <laughs> Not yet. That 18 is actually really nice. Don't for sure. <laughs> you know who just got the 18? A place that shall not be mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> A bunch of them, they, they sit. Right? A bunch of them got the yeah, because the eighteen it's they get it. Yeah. So what it is. It's not mm -hmm. cheap and yeah. it's it's hit or miss. Yeah. So far, it's been hit or miss in my opinion. I mean, that's a good and a bad thing about Springbank, I find, right? Yeah. Because it's like they release every year, and what do you do, right? Yeah. If you don't jump, you might miss. Exactly. If you jump, you might be disappointed. Eighteen's good. Mm -hmm. The eighteen's really nice. Twenty nineteen's zero. Yeah. Twenty nineteen seems to be. The like you can't oh, miss year oh, for right. yeah. I don't know about the fifteen. That's the only one I. I'm, but then again, I did try a fifteen at um, Swami's tasting in the summer, and if that was a twenty nineteen, then that was awesome. Jeremy gave the ten whiskey of the year. Jeremy gave the ten the whiskey of the year. I thought that was awesome. You gave the twenty one. Twenty one year old Springbank. <laughs> that that's just bonkers. That stuff is nuts. Yeah, uh, Peter White saying the long row 18 is better than the spring bank 18, it seems. Again, that's from my experience, that's true, but I don't know. This is actually really good. This is surprisingly um, really good, actually, compared to the, it was, what was it, the 2017? I think 2017 wasn't a great year for anything not cast strength. That was spring bank. But like you said, spring bank either hits a home run or they like, Miss the mark because they're always changing it, like they're changing it up every time. Okay. Whiskey friends rubbing it in. He has the cocaine and cherry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we yeah. have we have a couple of those coming. We just it's coming. It's just a, coming. Yeah, it's on the it's so it's on the boat. It's if you if you're wondering what the uh, title of this live means, I'm going dry for an entire month. It's going to be starting following this weekend, so Monday, and then did I say live? No. Oh. I'm going dry from Monday, January um, 14th, all the way to February 14th. So um, this is kind of the last live that we'll be doing for a month. And the videos I'll be doing, I have a, a bunch of list type videos coming out. Uh, best 10-year-old, best uh, no-age statement. And then I think... I was planning on doing my top 50, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that because that list is always fluctuating. It's always changing. The top 50 is always changing. Yeah, the top 50 is always changing. <laughs> not the top 10. Top, top 10. 10. Top 10 is not always changing. So that maybe at the end of the month, I'll, I'll maybe the top 20. Maybe the I'll top do a top 10 20. from 2019 to 2020 has changed probably quite a bit. Yeah, I, I mean, 2019 yeah. has been a pretty From 
from <laughs> last year to this year, we had like quite a few crazy whiskeys. So yeah, that's definitely changed. I know 2020. I really like that 2018 or 2019 Spring Bank 18. It's it's hard to go back to these at 46 when you you're so used to Spring yeah. Bank at the higher strengths, right? So that's a great point. Um, but not, it is good. Right? Yeah, no, it's awesome. It does taste light, though. Like, yeah. It does taste light, yeah. and and that's the thing about Springbank is you get used to it tasting a certain way because you're used to having a cast strength version of it. So it's like that extra creaminess, that extra whatever, mm -hmm. and then when like it falls short of that because of the forty six. But I didn't find that the Springbank twenty one did that this year. Mm -hmm. I I found that the twenty one, even the eighteen, like the finish just didn't go. It was short. Yeah, for me it was short, right? And uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I right. just like a longer finish. Yeah, because that's why I find when I drink it, I drink it too fast because mm -hmm. I'm always. I love the palate so much. Yeah, who knows? I'm you, going back for more. That makes and then, sense. And then, and then another sip, another sip, and then all of a sudden, oh, it's gone. Yeah, that's a good point. And, yeah. but it's so it's it's a great dram. Right. Yeah. High score for that. I mean, the palate's amazing. It's incredible. But it's, the finish doesn't last. Right? Yeah. So you wonder what it would be like if it was like stronger. Yeah. I, I I'm curious. Like Narby thinks that the the key is to reset by like not yeah. drinking any cash strength for a while. I don't know. That's hard. That's to say. <laughs> I, I put, like ninety percent of what we buy is cash strength. I think like I think, it's. I think it's, Ralphie mentioned something like that in one of his videos. Does he? Where he's like. If you like your peat, don't have peat for a long period of time. Yeah. Right. And then once you go back to it, you'll like appreciate it more because it's over. Yeah. Honestly, and even tonight, it still blew me away. Is that Glen Alki ten year old? Really the port. Um, you want to pass it over here? I just want to show these guys. I know that I've mentioned it, and I just did a rundown of this uh, whiskey, and I do plan on doing a second video. Um, my neighbor bought the cash strength. He's gonna. He might. <laughs> so this is the the box. You guys don't really need to see the bottle. It's bottled at forty eight percent. Everybody that's tried this so far has said they liked it. That I've that I've met. I don't know what's going on on whiskey base. I feel like unless it's cash strength, it gets a bad mark on whiskey base. So this is crazy good stuff. It's ten years old. I'm not sure what people were expecting. It's 48%. I love it. I think it's phenomenal. I need to buy a couple backups. 48%. 48%. Yeah. It's not a low ABV, but it drinks super smooth. It drinks like, it, like even Paulo said, it, it drinks like it's 15, easy 15 years old, right? So um, I really like it. That Spring Bank 18 was really good. I'm going to move on to the Long Grow 18 from 2013. Oh, yeah. You can get the peat right away a little bit more. Did you guys try the long? Did you go peated and then go back to the unpeated? No, I'm I'm going long row 18 and then I'm going long row 21. Oh, so you're not going back to the other ones? No, I'm not going to do the ones that I, I own. I, <laughs> I'm i just doing the ones that Jasper brought today. Like, what fool would drink his own whiskey when you drink Jasper's? Unless you think you're <laughs> no, no, my wife's gonna be like, are we gonna have some space for the kids in this house, or is it gonna all be whiskey? <laughs> What's going on, Jason? How are you, buddy? We need Jason to come up. Yeah, bring Jason needs to come some back to uh, Ontario. He needs to bring up some of his mm -hmm. quality bourbons, though. We'll get him some quality other stuff. Yeah. We'll give him quality everything else. He just has to bring the bourbons. Man, the nose on this longer 18 is really good. Did I? I didn't pass it, did I? I was hogging it for myself. <laughs> and it's See, probably muted because it's oxidized because I've had it for a while now. This one smells like it's just, it would be way too easy to drink. Because that's a great nose. This is great. <clears throat> Charles Dixon is saying, Hey Rob, are you doing a review of the Springbank 15 Rumwood anytime soon? It'll be probably first thing in February. All right. Um, 
Unfortunately, I was planning on featuring some of these tonight, but then Jasper decided to bring too many uh, spring bags, so I'll probably taste it. <laughs> but um, yeah, it, it's coming, but it'll be February probably. As soon as I finish my dry month, we're trying to we're trying to knock him off the wagon. That's gonna be a rough one. It's gonna be rough. We'll have you over to my place. Yeah, that's Wait, the, that's, that's a fly. terrible idea. In March, Jerry goes live. We'll bring him over. No, that's a terrible yeah. idea. Next week, I'm available. Actually, <laughs> you guys are jerks. My wife is actually. I was trying to get him to come down and send it to Wednesday. My wife was away for a few days. <laughs> Which local barley is that in the background? And then um, the whiskey friend answered, yes, it's the 2019-10 local barley. Have they announced what the 2020 is going to be? Probably not. I don't know. Is is 2020 the last year of it? Because I thought they were... Is that it? I, I heard a rumor they're only doing so many years of it. Huh. Just, they're going to go back to 16 years old? <laughs> Ever? Why? That's the nine-year-old behind me. Jasper brought the nine-year-old. Jasper's hoping I change my mind on this. No, Jasper's hoping that I can get Rob drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's not hard. <laughs> Have you guys tried the 10 year old spring uh, local barley yet? It's right in front of me right now. Nice. No, Are there right any clean glasses right here? There. Yes. That's fine. <laughs> it's a good night when Rob runs out of glasses. Yeah, that happens quick, Rob. I think there's more. <laughs> you go right there. There's like one more, I think, up there. <laughs> I, I literally think these are all of them. Yes, local okay. I have what, like 25 glasses, <laughs> something like that? Yeah, Captain yeah, Genius has five releases for local bar. <clears throat> five releases total? That's, or so far? They said five. That's what they were going Because there's to. been two tens. 16. 11. 11. 9. That's and 16. Five. Boom. This could be the last. That's math. This could be the last. <laughs> I think I had like 30 glasses. Jasper broke a glass. And he broke. Jasper oh, broke one. Well, no, that was me. He exploded. I, I karate chopped a glass <laughs> midair. <laughs> Honestly, was, I don't even know. It's that epic of a night. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I don't even take karate. <laughs> Did you guys pour yourself some of this? I'm having that right now. What do you think? It's good. You can. It's. You're right when you said it's. What did you say? It was like porty as. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it, way more port. Like it doesn't taste like a port finish. It tastes like a full maturation in port. Good cask. Yeah. Really good cask. And definitely like a ruby port. Yeah. Right. Give me the color. Give me the color. The, I'm gonna have to have you over for a port ruby. tasting. Then. Yeah. Jasper knows all about port, <laughs> so we gotta. It's kind of like a ruby color too. During your drive, kind of tinge to it. Right? Take care, Alan. Have a good night, buddy. <clears throat> the whiskey friend is parting. Got about 30 in the chat. We'll stay on for what? Another 10 minutes ish, seven minutes, and then uh we'll we'll let you guys get uh ready for the scotch for dummies coming up at 10 o'clock. Uh, why do we have to go ahead? Hmm. <clears throat> we should we could switch to Tuesdays. <laughs> but Tuesday. 10 o'clock on a Tuesday is a rough night. Starting at ten o'clock on a Tuesday, it would work. It would work. Change your lessons. Change your lessons. Yeah. <laughs> Wednesday mornings at uh, <laughs> I gotta have to like do a double planning time first thing. Actually, you have planning. Don't plan on Wednesdays. You're good. Later on in the day, though. It's okay. These guys, we're gonna, a lot of side talk today, and we're like, these guys are like, what's going on? Over here? <laughs> <laughs> the camera back. <laughs> I know. It, it would be cool if there was like a camera that just like does the three cool. like goes to the person talking. Until the gibberish. <clears throat> Round table, kind of camera. Eventually, hey, put or put mirrors behind you. It's like a multi like surface camera. That like so just got, activates when somebody's talking. Or no, do like they have in the cars, the front facing and rear facing camera. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> but all you see is bottles. People are wondering why I'm uh, nosing my water. <laughs> it's because I'm trying to see if <laughs> if the glass is clear of whiskey smell. When Rob is nosing his water, that's a good night. <laughs> it just started. I haven't even dipped in really. So. Yeah, I really like the 18-year-old. I think it's – both 18-year-olds have been really nice so far. 
We started with that 20. So now we're on two baby pours of 18. And I'm cleaning my glasses as I go. So I have some space. I do want to kind of give myself another pour of this <clears throat> 10 pour. I really like it. There are four key cameras oh. that auto cut to the person talking. Well, that's pretty cool. Captain 3D. Honestly, Captain, guys, Captain I am the least. Captain 3D did a 21 year old. Yeah, Captain shootout. 3D did a 21 year old shootout, which was epic. And I shared it with my friends. <laughs> Color of the rainbow up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Better than I thought it would be at yeah, 10. What's that? Yeah, way better. Yeah, it's, it's surprisingly good. Hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. Well, how much is that on uh, the site that will not be mentioned anymore? Ninety-four. Gotta keep it to ourselves. Yeah. <clears throat> and I'm gonna move on to this 21 year old because I honestly don't feel like I gave this 21 a fair shake originally. Oh, What's the? Can we? Share the bottle level since Jasper got a hold of it. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey's meant to be shared. Whiskey's meant to be drunk. This is all shared. <laughs> it's a lot. Is that sulfur I smell? Is that what that this, funk is? There's a bit That's, of sulfur in this one. Because I, I, I get some kind of funk. But you know what, though? like, It's got that like cheesy spring bank funk, but it's not as sulfured as it was in the beginning. No, it's not as like I, I wouldn't call that sulfur anymore. So that's that's what you call their funk because that's that's Barnard that's a funk. hefty funk. Yeah, yeah that, like compared to all the other stuff. Yeah, this just smacks you in the, the face. Yeah, this that. yeah the long road twenty one definitely has the most funk on the night. <laughs> yeah, on the palate. That like ashy almost um, gunpowdery finish is like is a bit of sulfur, but it's the the kind of sulfur I can deal with. It's like the matchstick sulfur. It's not the ammonia type sulfur. You know what I mean? There's a there is a difference. I gotta bring my Deanson by sometime, right? Because that has. So do you you have the same bottle that Jeremy has open the twenty? I have a twenty. Okay. The twenty sherry oloroso. And you found it very. I'm not sulfur. sure. So that's why I want to see what you you think, right? Because I get this stale biscuit okay so see uh, what i which is probably not sulfur i mm. consider like that ammonia like almost like a urinal type smell <laughs> as <laughs> sulfur um so that's what i call sulfur but that's probably not but i do find that it only happens with sherry cask whiskey mm. so i do think it is is sulfur so um, getting high off that, I see. It smells like that. But this definitely doesn't have that. It's more matchstick style. I like that a lot, actually. That twenty-one. That's really nice. It's very matchstick, definitely. Yeah. yeah, it's if you're a if you're a Springbank hardcore fan, mm -hmm. you're gonna love this Long Row Twenty-One because like it's meant for you. You know what I mean? It's got the Springbank that. I hate using the word funk because who yeah. can describe funk, right? Yeah, nobody describes But funk. it's got it in like truckloads. Right? Yeah, yeah. And it's, the finish for this one at 46, the finish on this one. It's long lasting. Yeah. It's long lasting. Much more than the uh, spring break one. The finish with this one is like a like a dirty, ashy kind of like, like the barbecue is sitting in like, Remember, like back in the day, if it, have your parents ever done like the charcoal barbecue and it just like sat in the thing and nobody cleaned it out for a week? That's what I get on the finish here. Last night I was on my parents. My parents have the wood fire wood fireplace. Yeah. So at yeah. the end of it, or even around, like before, you that little bit of smoke's coming off of whatever is the ashes left. The embers. Yeah. 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 That's what I get. That's Brooklady for me. Like the oh really? Yeah. Octomore is like yeah barbecue. Like for, yeah, for me, Brooklady, I, I always like compare that to like the barbecue house, like mm -hmm. the like. Like mm. really saucy ribs, like that, that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, the the finish for this one's is great. Mm -hmm. right. The nose is a little off putting with that. Uh, yeah. I I don't know if that's off putting. Though. I'm not sure what that is. It was a bit in the beginning, but I, it's definitely like calmed down. I like that I a lot. The palate really. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> 
But then the palate well, takes over. Yeah. <laughs> Palette and the finish. The palate yeah. like changes. The, your, <laughs> this your one is like that typical roller coaster you get with mm -hmm. sometimes with, with really great splotches. Sometimes yeah. you, you'll see that it takes you for a ride, mm -hmm. right? It starts off one way, turns a different way, Absolutely. then the finish ends a different way. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. This is definitely every time you bring it to your nose, you're getting something different. I, I really like that. I even get like a little bit of like a pickle type note. On that, which is weird for a scotch. Mm. I only did that with rye. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm probably missing a bunch of comments in the chat here, but I don't think I, I haven't missed any red. Nobody's directing them at me. They're just talking amongst <laughs> themselves, which is why we do this, right? Yeah. People are supposed to be doing this. It's like um, the bar. Mm. Guys just go to the bar. You don't necessarily talk to the bar, or <laughs> the bartender. You just, you're just maintaining the. The pores. Eric Waits in the chat. What's going on, man? Uh, Bayou Drams. How are you? Bayou is what? Like Louisiana? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like you would think a place like Louisiana would probably have a badass distillery because it's like swampy, hot, like that, like. <laughs> interaction with the barrel would probably be bonkers in Louisiana because it's so humid, isn't it? Like it's, it's known for its humidity yet. What does it drink down there? I think they, I feel like they drink rum in Louisiana. I love rum. This is the time of year where rum is like, I like, I like going after a nice, really a nice rum. Yeah. Cognac rum. This is the time of year. Cold where there's Pete. Not till Pete for me. Pete. So Paulo and I did a video. What was that? Like two years ago? It's about two years ago. Paulo brought over five or six cast, um, EXO cognacs. And recently, it's in like my top 10 in views. Like oh, every month. Yeah. Top three. Top Yeah. Top five for a while and top three for a while. And then, yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah, this is really good. I want to try something different. What did you guys pour there? I'm going to go after this rum. Okay, this is the rum. I'm going to go after the rum. Give you guys some perspective over here. You've been talking about rum, so. Dram dude's in the house. <laughs> I feel like this is not a dark rum pass, though. It's probably they like. Tell you what kind of rum no, they don't tell you, and I feel like it might be like a. Uh, but like a lighter rum. I don't have a lot of rum experience. You probably have way more, right? But there's the rum that's sickly sweet, and then there's the rum that's not so sweet. Right? So, so rum, depending on which country the rum is produced, you can actually add sugar to it if you if you uh, want. Like El Dorado, all added sugar, whereas Jamaican rum, it's not legal to add. That was a big pour. <laughs> <laughs> it's not legal to add sugar. That was a raw pour. Fifty-one percent on this. I think there's only nine thousand bottles, like we said already. Bottled in August of 2019, so relatively recently, right? The boss is home. The boss is home. The no, right off the hop, fruit. Especially after what we've been tasting, it's all like it, it takes you in a completely different mm. direction. Like there's no peat in there. I don't get any. Yeah, it's all tropical fruit. All tropical fruit, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yes, maple syrup. <laughs> That's really nice. So the first time I poured this, I was blown away. Second time I poured it, like I was like, I can't smell this. Like, is there is there a nose at all? Like, doesn't does that happen to you guys sometimes? Yeah, yeah. That's that's what I felt with your uh, with the with the uh, twenty, right? Because the, the first time I had it, it blew me away with the nose. Today, yeah. you did. Yeah, it was like, I wonder why that happens sometimes. It could be smelling so many different things. Before. Could be that. Yeah, it could be a bit of that. Maybe this we is, had like some food you know, before. This is good. I mean, this, this, 
Yeah, this very is very sweet, very tropical. Reminds me of some of the Cavalans you yeah. get, right? Yeah. This is different from anything I've ever done. So I'm going to be doing a whole, like, so. come February, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of single bottle reviews. Patricia, how are you? Um, when, when I've done those, like, single bottle reviews, I want to do a review of this 15 rum, Springbank, the Amaru single cast Springbank, which I believe is nine years old, Jasper. Am I correct? Which one? The Amaru was nine years old. Oh, I forget now. It's about nine years old, I but think. It's an Indian, right? So we all Yeah. <laughs> Didn't smell. And then, um, and then the Cavalon, which was like eight or nine years old as well. So all three of them, I want to do side by side and, and see what that Amaru is pretty crazy though. Problem with that Amrut is it's not easily accessible because it was like uh, exclusive to, exclusive to one, one store. What do you guys think of this? The rum cask. It was alone. It's, uh, yeah. No, you don't. This is like all like uh, powdery sugar on the palate. Like it's pretty sweet. Mm. Oh, it's yummy. Pretty creamy too. Yeah. Yeah. This. I'm glad I got a backup of this bad boy. <laughs> it's a hard bottle to get. Yeah, it's a difficult bottle to get. And Springbank in these parts are getting harder and harder to get. We got to stop talking about them, I think. Yes. <laughs> so, guys, no sources. this is officially the last Springbank <laughs> review I was going to say. <laughs> um, no, it's good. It's, yeah, they're the dessert jam. If it, like, yeah, yeah, dessert jam for sure. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't even know how we're going to be getting them. We worked hard for ours. Mm -hmm. That we did. Yeah, that's that's a winner. Mm. Wanna try this? Mm. All right, what are we at? We're at 37 minutes. Still have 30 going strong. Um, guys, if you just got here and you're wondering why we're talking so much amongst ourselves and whatever. Uh, really, this is meant to just be a quick review of the 20 and then a little chat amongst ourselves and whatever. So um, you can rewind, go back to the beginning, just watch the review. Uh, I will be going dry for a month. So as of Monday, I think you're going to be able to catch my um, top six 10-year-old scotch. Then the following Monday, you're going to catch my top six uh, no age statement scotch. It's going to be uh, $200 and less because mm -hmm. like stuff like Balvenie Ton, for example, like that's not a fair comparison because you have like 40 year old whiskey in some of those Balvenie Tons, right? Mm -hmm. So um, those are the next two um, back to back weeks. And then I have maybe, I'm not promising anything, but maybe my top. 20 top 30 um whiskeys so far that i've that i've sh tasted probably top 20. i'll be doing my best this month to get rob to fall off the wagon yeah and jasper is going to do everything in his power to make sure that i don't last an entire month dry so <laughs> Can Jerry and my mom come Rob, over? Best scotch in my collection line. We will open something from the top shelf. <laughs> Rob has his upcoming UFC debut. <laughs> uh, mm. Rob likes the funk. He sure does. <laughs> scotch for dummies in the house. Mm. So they will be going on in about what? What time is that? The, the blue is kind of blinding me now. Where can we get scotch for dummies? So in less, than, less than less uh, than twenty five minutes. And uh, we are going to be signing off in one minute. What are you guys drinking tonight? Let's end off there. CJ. <laughs> CJ, I hope you saw my um, my post on uh, Instagram. Because <laughs> that comment, I swear to God, was the best comment I've ever read in my life. <laughs> I, I, I read that comment. And thank God I was, it was recess because I laughed out loud. Like, <laughs> literally laughed out loud. <laughs> Everyone, what's going on, my friend? It's good. The rum cast is good. <laughs> Springbank Local Barley 10 for one last uh, cause. <coughs> Woodford Reserve Double Oak for Red Beards Racing. P. 
Pete Monster for Bayou Drams. <clears throat> Teapot 7 and Kilkaren 8 Sherry for the Scotch 4 Dummies. Nice. Yeah. <coughs> Casey, go on, my friend. Bun up PX for Casey. Nice. Yeah, here, like, <coughs> it was initially, initially model. <laughs> Toronto versus what? <laughs> We're going to keep that under, Claire. I don't need yeah, people knocking on my door. It says versus everybody. <clears throat> Been dry for a month yeah. due to antibiotics. Yeah, that sucks. Got a long roll 11 penal for Christmas sitting unopened. Jeez. That's tempting. <laughs> I have <coughs> like a tickle. I was drinking Chardonnay with dinner. We have a Chardonnay cask. We have a Chardonnay <laughs> cask here, Eric. <laughs> but Chardonnay is for um, the week. <laughs> Although I'm choking <clears throat> in the week. Great laugh. All right, guys. Uh, we're going to sign off. Thank you guys for joining. Sorry for the voice. I suddenly have like a frog in my throat or something. I don't know. Perfect time on. to sign up. Yeah. Hope you guys are well. Go catch the Scotch Four Dummies in about 20 minutes. Cheers, everyone. That's clean. I didn't see that.